What up, Reject Nation? How's your day going? Aaron Alexander is back with us today because we covered Umbrella Academy Season 2 together right here on the channel. You guys can go watch those reactions if you haven't seen them because right now we got ourselves Umbrella Academy Season 3 trailer. Finally, another show to add on to the big list of June 2022. So, guys, if you want to show your support to us over at our Patreon page by becoming a super sexy reject, that would mean so much. We'll have the full length watch along where you sync up with the time code for Umbrella Academy over there. And we cover a whole bunch of shows, but many of them exclusive reaction highlights over there, especially because we're going to be uh, getting some extra editing help to help us keep up. And so that those Patreon funds really help go to there. And uh, if you can't do that, you know, leave a like and a comment. <laughs> it's just as good. <laughs> so do that. It'd mean a lot. And subscribe and click that notification bell as well. You can follow this guy you know, on Instagram again. No. Don't follow him. Just just say nice things. No. Follow me in the streets. Let's 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 watch this. <laughs> People follow Aaron. Stalk him. This isn't your home. What are you talking about? This is the Umbrella Academy. This is the Sparrow Academy. What? Shit. Good clear shot when of them. We jumped here. We created a time paradox. Our little paradox brought forth a freaking Kugel Blitz. What the hell is Kugel Blitz? Essentially, you made that up. we're screwed. <laughs> Just like an old man. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Everybody else can see Ben, right? Yeah, and he's a complete dickhead. <laughs> dickhead. Hell yeah. Dickheads are good to fight. Next person to say dickhead is getting a punch to the throat. Dickhead. 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 <laughs> we caused a paradox, and that paradox is swallowing Ooh. things. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Four, maybe five days before the rest of existence is blitzed. Classic. Another apocalypse? Classic. Classic. Blobs and cubes and birds oh, and Jesus. shit. Your team is good, but I don't think you're better than me. I ended the world twice. Ooh. And you? You're just me. Badass slot. <laughs> Dad didn't adopt us as babies, but those babies still existed here. So, if you ever see your other oh, selves, kill them. sleep with them. Avoid them. What's wrong with you? Oh, come on. <laughs> as if you wouldn't climb Luther Mountain. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Yeah, Klaus. <laughs> Gotta have Dad Summers and Umbrella Academy. If I kill you, do we get our bent back? <laughs> what the hell did you just say? <laughs> what are you, their mascot? More like their ringer. It's a ballroom business. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Been looking for you. Oh, oh no! Spoiler alert. <laughs> hey! Oh, I'm excited. Pogo lives! Pogo! Pogo lives! The return of Biker Gang Pogo! <laughs> <laughs> the return. <laughs> <laughs> he was there the whole time, you just couldn't see him. Yeah, we're in like this age of comic book alternate timeline multiverses right. everywhere. Again, like we had Multiverse of Madness and everything Marvel's been doing. Everything, everywhere, all at once. It's everywhere. It's uh, the new hot craze. Flashpoint film coming, and now this. So it's like, we got to get rid of the Sparrow Academy and then keep Pogo alive though, right? Keep Pogo alive, keep especially Pogo, Pogo living. Okay, so we just watched this trailer back on our own. This trailer moves by at such a whiplash pace. I didn't realize that you see Lila several times throughout this trailer. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. She's like a, like a flash. She's blonde now, which is something new. I thought that was very cool. I thought that she didn't go back with them at the end. Is this a no. different Lila? I would imagine it's the same Lila because they're working together, but yeah, she, she... she has the briefcases and new time travel and yeah, all that. Yeah. Yeah. She can go dimension hop and whatever, but yeah. it's interesting seeing that she's back with them, and because especially she like left at the end of the last season, kind of leaving it like, up in the air as to what her status would be with the team. It's really cool to see that they're keeping the tone of the show the same as last one. It seems like a whip, a whiplash of a ride, you know, back to the five day format before the apocalypse. Which is... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Keeping with the classics, baby. But what's the cause of it this time? Uh, something about a paradox, like because they, they, <laughs> they can't. It's not. 
not time this time. It's a paradox this time. It's not Vanya, who's now Victor, apparently. There's an article that came out like a month ago. Vanya is becoming Victor in the show. That's very awesome. I look, I'm happy that Elliot Page is going to be able to be someone that is who they feel that they are, which is like, hey, you know, more, more power to them. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of the cool parts of the that, that shot with Victor and and Lila because remember that big reveal in last season when when Lila like shoots up and scared like what she, she has the same powers you know <laughs> and it, she was just an, an enemy to, so to see her working side by side is cool more importantly Diego's got a haircut I thought that hair in season two was actually pretty cool pretty but badass. apparently a lot of people thought it was a little silly they I, changed it to satisfy the fans. Yeah, you're always, always giving in to fan outrage. <laughs> <laughs> Cowards. <laughs> but the Sparrow Academy, I wonder if they will have some type of team up at the end. Well, I haven't read the comics, so I don't know. But I wonder if only in the beginning, the Sparrow Academy and Umbrella Academy are not going to be getting along. That's part of the, the fun of the crossover. You know how like those, you know, like Avengers did it and stuff where, oh no, they're butting heads at first and they're fighting with each other. So you get to watch their powers go toe to toe. And then you see them team up with each other in the end to help save the world or some of their main villainous. Yeah, I feel like, you know, the show like Umbrella Academy, I think that would be something that you would see within other shows and like, that'd be really cool. I'd like to see them team up. I think the show has a habit of subverting expectations with what you suspect to be the norm with superhero content or comic book content. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. I would love to see who they are, explore like the dynamics between True. the Umbrella, Umbrella Academy and the Sparrow Academy. What I want to know is what their relationship is with one, this new Pogo, because that's very cool to see that. Pogo! Pogo is returned! <laughs> he does tattoos. Pogo's on... reinvented every season. I hope he has like a Cockney <laughs> accent this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would also like to see like what the new relationship is with this new Hargraves. Yeah. And what the new Hargraves is like within this world. And, and they revealed that Hargraves was an alien last season they did reveal yeah. that yeah so yeah. we have to unpack that definitely yeah that's gonna be something that's hopefully has its own lore and its own storyline within the show we gotta see if allison cares about her kid this season right yeah <laughs> <laughs> and also what i really want to know is who are this universe's versions of the characters that we know do they know each other do they utilize their powers right. in the same ways as our characters know i think it's neat with ben how you know ben was only with klaus for the first couple seasons now that ben's back He's antagonistic. Yeah, for them. that's a that's an interesting way to like shake it all up. I feel like they're leaning more in a horror this season too. Yeah, because you saw some ghosts in there, and then like so there's some new sort of MacGuffin thing that we have. We with got the, the crows too. The crows, the crow yeah. girl. We have like a, a blob kind of dude with his face, and he is in the suit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we know what we're talking about. We know what we're talking about. We're talking about. I'm excited to to check out and unpack. It looks just as exciting as the last two seasons. Looks like it's up in the ante. I think that with Umbrella. Academy, the trailers are always like so cool and so exciting, but what makes this show awesome is they, it's mainly a, just a really strong character driven show, but it maintains that excitement throughout. It's very unique. You know, it's it's difficult to stand out in the superhero landscape of TV. Umbrella Academy definitely makes its mark. Too All exciting, right. Funny. Yeah, funny too, yeah. Great needle drops throughout. I think the way they uh, infuse their needle drops, which always makes for great YouTube monetization, <laughs> <laughs> but the way they they utilize their needle drops is uh, some of the absolute best too. I believe they actually, the writers uh, write their scenes ar uh, around it, like they plan it preemptively. Oh. Uh, unlike most shows that do it in post, they they have it in mind already oh, that's before really they cool. write it. So I think that's why they work so well. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. What excited you most about the Umbrella Academy season three trailer? Pogo! Hey, let's do a p Pandemic Jones. Now you might think that having a name like Pandemic Jones would mean you're a threat to this world. And you know what? He's not. He's actually one of the nicest people we've ever met. One time, I'll never forget this. I once fell down a flight of stairs. And you know what Pandemic did? Because my ankle was broken. He peed on my ankle to heal it. Aww. Yeah, and I was like, what the hell are you doing? And he's like, well, your ankles hurt. He thought that if your ankles hurt that you have to pee on it. I'm like, it's not a jellyfish sting. You freaking idiot. And then I smacked him in the face. And you know what he said to me after I smacked him in the face while he was still urinating? What did he he say? said, 
thank you for teaching me a lesson, Greg. Mm. And I said, <laughs> this is not the way you want to learn lessons in life, PJ. And now he is a professor at the Los Angeles Valley Community College. So PJ, what we've learned today is we have shattered you out so many times that I am pulling from the bottom of the barrel now <laughs> of what we can say. <laughs> no, you're, you're a great guy and you're far smarter than me. That story's fake, so you know that I was just joking when I said the whole idiot thing, right? <laughs>